Thanks for joining us here for this week in agribusiness. Max, this time of year, farmers are taking a look at their fields as those combines roll through. And if they want a clean field at harvest, they got to manage those weeds all year, don't they? It's become more of a daunting task to be sure. And that's why some farmers have had to switch, actually falling back to uh, previous methods. We visited about that at our Plant Smart Grow Smart visit the other day with Mark Storr, who is with BASF. <laughs> As young men, we spent a lot of time walking fields and out there physically, <laughs> mechanically uh, controlling weeds and using cultivators. We've kind of regressed a little bit in recent years. We, yeah. We've seen cultivators pulled out of sheds. And that was my first paying job was pulling weeds. I'll probably retire pulling weeds too. <laughs> and I've often said with the guidance systems that we have, Cultivating used to be a bigger chore than what it is today, but it's all become a necessity because of our reliance on herbicides and getting away from some of those other weed management strategies. And uh, anything we can do to, to manage the uh, mechanisms of action that we have today by rotating those modes of action, using the products that have relatively clean bills of health, if you will. I gather you have no tolerance for weeds. It's a zero tolerance approach you'd love to see the grower take. Yeah, it's really where we're at. The thing when it comes to weed control, we have to look at it as a preventative thing as opposed to a curative because the curatives are really what costs us the money when we're not able to successfully control those weeds post-emerge anymore, or at least exclusively post-emerge. And if you're not willing to you know, go the extra mile and really put together a program for those weeds, uh, you're probably going to struggle years down the road because they're going to continue to flourish. The one-two punch can really make a difference, can it not, in weed control? Absolutely. That one-two punch of a pre followed by a post, adding residual herbicide to that uh, post-emerge application is really the only methods that we're seeing successfully employed on the toughest weeds we're, we're uh, facing. And we, we tell farmers how important it is to plant early to you know, get that yield advantage by getting that seed in the ground and you know, off to an early development. But we slam it in the ground so fast, sometimes we forget about taking care of those weeds with the pre-emerge herbicide. And those are the really problem fields for us. So in the, in the case of soybeans with our pre-emerge chemistry, we have Zidua Pro, which would be our premium brand. Residual, of course, lends itself to great residual activity in soybeans and corn. And then uh, also products like Verdict, which is an excellent foundation. So they all work great in giving us that first punch of that one-two punch that we're looking for. Will you be out with growers taking a look at fields during harvest? Uh, I get a chance to ride combines sometimes. It is the best time to be evaluating this year's program to see how you finished. Thankfully, we've got enough people with a work ethic and doing a great job over the years, the weed pressure that a lot of folks face. They've got it beat down to where it's manageable. We're gonna have some pockets that probably grow the best crops they've ever had. We appreciated the visit with Mark Storr talking about weed control and the importance of it. You can see more of our series at plantsmartgrowsmart.com.